So there guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Oh man, exciting day today because we're going to make some water barrels. Although it is uh, half past eight, I guess that doesn't matter. Our compound is quite safe now. Um, I still don't know whether it's a good idea to make some lanterns or not, but we might consider that later. We actually have six garbage bags, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're obviously going to need planks as well. Oh, we've actually got six planks in the cupboard. When did we do that? Huh. Let's grab a plank. Let's grab a plank and let's have a quick look. Um, how I rain barrel. Rain collector barrel. Four planks. Jeez, oh, that's heavy shit. Wow, four planks is pretty heavy, son. Um, let's... I mean, I guess we can just about carry that. But it's going to be very bloody heavy. There we go. Okay, we've got them. We've got them. It's not too heavy. Right, where do we want to put these rain barrels? I want them on this side of the house. The one with the back here, I feel like that's maybe a good area. Because uh, then we can have crops on either side of them, like if we put them in this corner. So let's do that. Let's build a... what's it under furniture? Rain collector barrel. Oh, there we go. Exciting stuff. That used four garbage bags, though. They've changed that. Fuck me. Okay. Is that... Yeah. Okay, we're going to need a lot more garbage bags. So we're going to have to go look for some... Uh, for... Oh, it tells you how much is in there these days, though. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. So, we need to go on a garbage bag hunt. Um, that's That's the plan. I guess we can raid some of the houses nearby. Uh, we'll also keep it out for the next carpentry book, which will be carpentry, advanced carpentry, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to need more garbage bags, which is fine. I mean, that's. Have we got any more anywhere? I was going to say, let's have a good look around just in case. Ah, there's some more there. Grab those. So we can make two more barrels straight off the bat anyway. Okay, brilliant. Uh, give me... Well, give me all those planks, but I'm going to need more, aren't I? I'm going to have to chop some more trees down. I'm going to need another log. Do we have any logs out here? Did we use them all? Oh, there's one. I see a log. Uh, let's... Yeah, there's a couple of logs here. Right, let's drop... Let's drop two planks. I just don't want to be carrying, like, six planks at once, because that's going to really do me over. Uh, so... I want to get these up as quick as possible, really. In case it starts raining. You know, the sooner we start collecting this rain, the better. Uh, why wait? Why wait for this? Right, let's get another rain barrel. I'm going to make them, like, one apart. In, like, rows. So that we can walk between them easily. So that I'll have, like, two rows. The rain barrels. Or do we want vertical rows? It does suppose it matters, does it? As long as as long as we can get between the barrels, that's the main thing. Because that will allow us to uh, to obviously fill bottles of water and things like that. So now I should be able to pick up one more of those planks. Make another rain barrel, then we've got one plank left which I can go stick indoors. I can't believe how late we're up again. I'm going to have to do something about our sleeping patterns. Uh, I'm looking for furniture. 
I have four garbage bags. Needs three garbage bags. Oh, one of them's got something in. That's why. What's in here? An empty pop bottle. Fuck me. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now we can do it. Oh, God. That was confusing for a moment. I was like, what? Oh, now that pop bottle's going to stay there. Let's grab it. We can always use it as a water bottle. Because that's the other thing. We can Once it does rain, we can start filling up bottles of water. And just store as much water as we possibly can. That's the uh, the plan. In fact, I don't see why we couldn't do that now. Uh, I'm going to put that plank away. Yeah, we could start maybe filling water bottles from the sink before the um, before the water actually goes off. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, let's keep them in here. Uh, what else? We're going to want to fill that. Oh, no. No, we're not. We're going to want to fill the watering cans. How heavy are these? Two each. Okay, that's not too bad. Start making these preparations as soon as that guy's still not tired. We might as well prepare as much as we can. Oh, that's the wrong cupboard. Stop doing that. I want the gardening cupboard. Oh, there you go. I've got to admit, it's been a while since I've done the gardening in here, though. So I don't know what to do. I think what we'll do is in the morning we're going to raid the houses nearby. In fact, we could do that now. We could do it in the night. Let's have a nighttime raid. Let's fucking live dangerously. Because I think the area around us is pretty quiet. Most of the zombies seem to have congregated up towards the main road. Um, as you guys probably saw when we went to the logging camp, we had to fight our way through a lot on the way there and a lot on the way back. So, yeah. Right. Watering can. Wrong cupboard again. Still not the right cupboard. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, three full watering cans. That's pretty good. Right, let's equip our crowbar. And let's go on a little bit of a bin bag raid. So we're looking for garbage bags or a copy of advanced carpentry. Uh, I guess foraging for beginners, if we happen to see it, would be pretty handy. Uh, I wonder how you get the first aid skill up. I wonder what you can actually do to practice your first aid. You know? Cooking for beginners. How are we doing for cooking? We've already read cooking for beginners. Yellow light bulb. A plastic bag, that's not what I want. Nope. 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 Maybe we already raided this guy's stuff. Doesn't appear to have any bins, does he? What about over here? You got anything over here, son? Anything in these wardrobes? No. Yeah. Nothing of any real use to us there. Let's have a quick look upstairs. Oh man, we get such a nice view through that window. Uh, nope. I mean, you'd think... I'll tell you where there is garbage bags. Okay, I'll tell you where I know there's definitely some. There was a little hotel on the main road. And there was some dumpsters outside there that definitely have them in. Because that's where me and Vel have found a ton of them before. That's what we raided when we did this on multiplayer. So maybe 
maybe we need to head down there. Problem is, our guy just isn't tired. I think it's because we've done nothing but sit around the house for a few days, even though we've built an entire fucking fence. Now, I'm not going to be funny, but I don't know about you guys, but I would be knackered after building this fence. That's not something I could just do and then laugh it off. What about this little shit? Oh, now I'm tired. Charcoal. I don't know what charcoal's for. There's literally nothing good in there. Oh well. At least we're tired now. Let's go to bed. Let's get some sleep. And then we'll worry about where to go in the morning. I feel like maybe checking out that hotel is not a bad idea. I don't know if I can remember the way there. Obviously we have to go up towards the main road. I mean we'd need to take some weapons with us and stuff. And put the axe away and what have you. Um, let's just sleep for seven hours. We don't need to sleep for long. Maybe what I should do is, while we've got the axe out, we could clear up a bit around our house, uh, clear up some of those trees, turn them into planks, put them in these nice storage boxes here so that we've got storage for when we bring back... Um, you know, so we've got a load of plank stores, and we do bring back the garbage bags. We can just sort them out that way. Uh, we could also have a quick look upstairs just to make sure there's none up here. And we also need to do something about food as well, so we should probably do that before we go off exploring anywhere. But yeah, I feel like maybe the hotel is worth exploring if we can't find anything else. Oh yeah, that's foraging stuff. Okay. Uh, right, well, let's get... Right, let's put the nails away for a start. And I'll put the saw away as well. Because what we'll do is we'll just stick a load of logs in there. We'll worry about them later. Um, so I'll need the axe out. We'll just take down a few of the trees around the base, move the logs to the boxes, get some food cooked, make some lunch. Um, and then, yeah, I reckon I reckon we'll we'll have a little trip to the hotel at some point. It might be worth doing it in the morning. If we prep, if we get make sure we're fully fed, we've got grub and everything, and we've moved a bunch of logs, we could totally do that. I'm going to take both of these logs like a fucking badass. I've dropped a few things. It's not ridiculously heavy. It's still heavy as fuck, but this will be good for us. A bit of strength training. Oh, where is the other log? Did I not pick up two logs? It's in my backpack. Wow. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I guess we could fit two logs in the backpack. And run them to the boxes. Right, can I take anything else here? I don't think so. The good thing is this will give us a lot more visibility around our house as well. So hopefully we'll be able to see the zombies coming from miles away. Which is the plan. Look at all these logs, holy shit. That's a lot of logs. Good job we're big and strong. Oh, you can't even fit two in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> one in the school bag, one in my hands. Literally can't fit two in the school bag. It's a pity about the sign, I must admit. I'm, I was kind of good that we couldn't do anything cool with the sign. I wonder if, you, I wonder if that's something they're going to bring in. Although it's that small, it's like I don't know what you could put on it that you'd be able to see anyway. A log. Another one. Oh yeah, that guy's pretty hungry, but it's all good. Get all these logs stored. 
I mean, I think, I don't know how many rain barrels we're going to need, but I'm thinking sort of, I'd like, like, 15? Oh, that box is full. Shit, man, logs take up a lot of space. I'd like, like, 15 rain barrels, I think. And then we could start the farm, then. Because thing is, there's no point starting the farm first, because if we run away to go find rain barrels, in the meantime, the farm is going to die. You know what I mean? you got to keep your eye on it, especially at first. Oh shit, that one's really heavy. <laughs> Let's go drop it off sharpish. There you go. What a life. What a fucking life. How long have we lived for? 18 days, though. 18 days? Look at all the cool shit we have. Like bare grills up in this bitch. I just remember to keep pointing in the school bag so it doesn't fuck our back up. I think we can get away with a very heavy load without it being too much of an issue. But I do not want to break our back. That would be an awful way to after all this effort. Going out to a spinal injury is not really how I fancy finishing this series. My oh god. All these logs. All the logs. But then, once they're in the boxes, then we don't have to worry about it. If we need logs, they're there. You know? If I can get this fucking tree. I think these are the last two that I can chop down, and then it's like pretty much done. Can we get these little ones? No, we can't. Nope, okay. Fine, right. Let's shift these logs. And then we'll go see what's for lunch in the house. We'll probably have to cook something, but that's okay. It's been a while, so I don't mind doing a little bit of cooking. And then I guess we'll head to the hotel. I'll probably have to check the map in between apps to find out where exactly it is. Um, but basically, where we went to the... Where we went to the logging camp, we passed it. I'm sure we passed it on that sort of motorway-ish looking area, you know, the main road that sort of comes through town. It's like a big motel, it's like, um, it's a bit like, if you ever played Payday 2, uh, the Hotline Miami level, it's, it's, it's that sort of shape. It's like a sort of horseshoe, uh, building. And it's got a couple of different layers, but it's got a big, like, kitchen section. So there's bound to be, like, garbage bags and stuff there. There's also Pizza World. We could head up there. They're bound to have some garbage bags lying around. Other than that, I'm not sure what to do. I guess if we get the farm up and running... I'm thinking sort of long-term goals here. Once we get the farm up and running and we've got a decent amount of food, we could hike out uh, for maybe a day towards the next town and set up some sort of intermediary base there. And then we could ferry some water and food over. Um, and then at some point, actually make it to the other town. Oh, I hit that then. Oh, wow, I hit a tiny little tree. <laughs> Excellent. I guess we'll keep trying that around the house um, in the future. Just to see if we can, maybe when he gets bored... That can be our little hobby scene, because we can probably chop some of these tiny ones down. It's just a matter of standing in the right position for it, really. Uh, right, let's dump our axe. So we've used about half our axe doing the whole fence and a few rain barrels and stuff. It's not bad at all, is it, really? Have we got farming for beginners as well? We're going to need... Oh, no, we have level 3 farming. Of course we do, because we're a fucking farmer. Um, so what we need, oh, we should also be fishing for beginners and get a fishing rod from somewhere and learn how to fish, that'd be cool. Um, what's the next one up then? Farming for, inter uh, farming for intermediates is what we need to look out for. So if we can find a copy of that anywhere, uh, let's put our axe in there. 
So we've got one crowbar there, but we're definitely going to need to take another with us when, when we go out into the world for our uh, our trip to the hotel. We're going to need uh, probably two more crowbars, I would think, to take with us. Um, in the meantime, how many bowls of stew do we have? Just the one. Well, let's just grab this and eat it so that it's out of the way. And then let's see what we can make. Let's make some fucking epic food, shall we? Um, so I'm going to need the cooking pot. Uh, we're going to need to fill it with water. Okay. And then let's see what we can make. So if I open this and go to cooking... Pot of soup or pot of stew? Which was better for us? I feel like the stew was better for us. Was the stew nicer? See, we haven't found any pasta or rice, really, have we? We should look out for that. I wonder if we can make cool shit out of, out of that. Prepare pasta, look. Oh, yeah, man. We need some pasta. also learn to make pie. Pie would be nice. Oh, you can make cake. How do you make cake? Oh, bastards. Okay, right. Let's make stew. Let's make stew. Let's make... Um, let's get the mutton in there. Uh, let's put... Let's put a little bit of steak in there as well. Nice meat stew. We got any carrots? No. Let's put a bit of cabbage in. Put a bit of corn in there. Put a bit of leek in there. We're gonna make a really badass stew. Um, let's put a radish in. Oh, that's all the ingredients. Oh, okay. So there's limits on how much we can put in. Let's add some pepper to that shit. Oh, and let's add some salt as well. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's epic stew. Where is it? Oh, it's rotten. Why is it rotten? There's also some weird banging going on outside that threw me for a minute. I thought it was going on in the game then. Why is it rotten? Why is it rotten? Did we put rotten ingredients in there? Let me put it on here. And just see what happens. Oh, the mutton chop itself is rotten. I see. Oh, the stew is fine though. But the, the mutton chop went rotten when I took it out of the fridge. What? Why? Oh, look at the nutrition on it as well. Oh my god, it's going to be amazing. Right, let's put the mutton chop down here. It's gone rotten. Has anything else gone rotten? I don't think so. Everything else looks pretty good. Oh, we've got a stir fry as well that we've already cooked that I completely forgot about. Okay. Okay then. Well, hopefully this will be pretty good. I think, I'm guessing we got the mutton in there just before it went rotten. Let's put some of these fresh ingredients away. I guess the longer we keep them out of the fridge, the more... The, look, because the corn's gone rotten now as well. But these corns are fresh. God damn. Oh, so much rotten food. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with shit like that then. It could be a bit of a problem if that's going to start being the case. Hmm. I'm going to have to watch when we take stuff out of the fridge. Just make sure it's not 
rotting instantly on us. Uh, let's do a bit of fast forward then. I don't know why I'm just sort of sat here waiting for this. Ooh, shit, that sounded close. Whew. That was the game this time, not real life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking scary world we live in. Is this almost cooked? Right, let's grab it. Okay. Oh, it looks good. It looks bloody good. Let's get this in bowls before it fucking rots. Let's just grab them and then make four bowls of stew. I guess if you make two, they're slightly better per bowl, but, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's pop those in the fridge. Bowls of stew. And we can put the cooking pot away. Oh man, right, that's that taken care of. So, let's prep for a bit of a journey. There's two more crowbars there, let's grab those. Oh, we haven't got any bread, so we can't make any sandwiches to take with us. So what we can take is stuff that doesn't get tagged as fresh, I guess. Have we got anything... No, nothing that's going to survive the trip. Okay, we'll just eat on the way. Fine. Okay. Uh, oh, it's the end of the episode. Right. We'll do that next time then. So next time we're going to head out into the world. Uh, better equip this crowbar as well. We're going to head out and find the hotel, raid it for garbage bags and maybe some food. Uh, if we can bring stuff back without it all rotting on us. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But for now, we'll leave it here, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.